Hey guys, um, we're here today just to show you my inventory from airsoft guns. We're going to go from the crappy old Walmart weapons to the uh, good professional weapons that we use when we go to airsoft places such as Combat City or in Orlando. Um, to start we have this regular old crappy pistol with its mag. Not very good. I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, it broke after a few days. Moving on, we have a pretty nice um, $40. It actually came from Walmart. It's a CO2 pistol. It has about 400 FPS. Works really good. Recommended. Um, then we have this. Um, it's like a MP5K type deal, but it came with some attachments to turn it into an actual assault rifle. But it doesn't work very good either not recommended this was also from Walmart when I very first started airsoft and it's actually kind of different because the uh, scope on it is actually where you hold the BBs and the magazine is the battery alright moving on we actually have this uh, shotgun I guarantee any airsoft lover started with one of these shotguns um, they're very cheap very good I mean I would recommend it to anyone who's beginning they're very fun, I mean, just a nice classic gun. Moving on to a little bit better one. We have a L96 Sniper. Right now I have no scope, no bipod on it, but I do have two mags. It is bolt action, and I do have a speed loader and a strap for it. And then we have this Daniel Defense Assault Rifle. It's an M4 Carbine Series. Um, it's got the carry handle and the sight and a strap attached to it. It also has a very unique dual mag on it. Um, we just put those together by taking pieces of foam, putting them in between the mag, and then putting electrical tape around them. Just make sure that electrical tape sticks very nice, that way it's nice and sturdy. Moving on to our second to last gun in my inventory. We have this Echo One AK-47 CPW. Um, I really like this gun so far, I haven't had it very long, but it works very nicely. Um, just remember it can only use an 8.4 volt battery, but you can get them in 1200 mAh or 1600 mAh, anywhere around there. Um, it's got a adjustable stock, it has a 600 round waffle mag, and just remember the standard um, clips for the M4s and most of the weapons, the standard clips do not work in this, so you need the special magazine that comes with it, but it holds pretty much, it's made out of a high quality plastic, other than that, it's everything is metal, it's 6.5 pounds, um, your fire selection, is right here you can just flip it down and up works very good um, the only attachments I have on this right now are the grip the assault grip and a sling moving on to my last gun but it is one of my favorites um, let's go ahead and close that I went ahead it is KWA SR12, one of the newest ones. Extremely good. I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's fully automatic and semi-automatic, but I turn it into my sniper. It is extremely accurate. Has um, nice hop up. Um, I went ahead and got this assault grip for it, but right now I don't have it on. Um, this is the normal iron sight for it normally goes right about there and I have two more spare mags but I also have a dual mag on this one too um, you know I have point I use point twenty fives in it those are what I recommend for the best you can get them pretty cheap too um, has a nice nice um, attachment rail cause um, it's all full of metal Set for the buttstock. It's made out of plastic. This is where your battery goes. It attaches from the back. Um, I have a 
nice little scope on here. This one actually came with my sniper, but the sniper it was bolt action, so I decided to use it on my semi-automatic. I have a nice bipod on it. Um, you can adjust that as well and move it up. You just pull that, flick it up. And same on the other side, and it stays there. Flip it back down to get it in. Locks in place. Um, the only thing not good about this weapon is that it is well, it's, it's huge. <laughs> it's it's over three feet long. So if you're looking at some CQB weapons, I would not recommend this. Other than that, if you're playing field games or anything like that, this is a highly, highly recommended gun. One of my best so far. I've had it about a year, and it still works flawless. Uh, I've never had any problems with it. Um, doesn't skip out or anything. It's just a great gun. Um, as hop up, adjustable hop up, you just pull that back. And on this side, there's your hop up. Right there. Flick that back up. And there you go. That's my inventory. We'll be getting more soon. Thank you.